hello welcome to my latest video it is uh, two o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep for toffee I tried reading my book but I couldn't concentrate on it but once I get a thought in my head I can't shift it so uh, I thought rather than staring at the ceiling I'd do a spot of painting I'm going to be uh, painting on um, stretch canvas got this uh, black background I've already put on and it's uh, it's about 16 by 12 inches by my reckoning and uh, I start waving my hairy stick about that was just to give my camera something to lock on to just check it's all in focus Thank you so much for all of your likes and your comments and things like that. It really means a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. So I'm just going to just draw a couple of eyes. Not really giving it any thought. Quite subconscious. Got my headphones in. Listen to music as always. might be uh, quite a long video It'll probably be in two parts because my 16 gig SD card and my camera will soon fill up a film soon run out of space on it or my camera will run out of battery whatever comes first so I'll probably have to stop at some point and come back to it but we'll see how far we get Yes, yeah, as, as well as YouTube, you can also find me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, and junkie.co.uk. Just put uh, junkid into uh, a search engine and I pop up. Over the years, I've... Uh, moved up the food chain on Google so I'm on the first page now which is good yeah look, this uh, element to my work isn't everyone's cup of tea I get that but I don't paint for other people, I paint for me. It's good therapy for me. Keeps the old uh, demons in check. I'm using this uh, Arteza paint, which is lovely, it's really thick. Goes on very nicely. Yeah, I never really, uh, well, I'm, I never plan anything to say during my videos I just let it uh, let it all go it's quite nice that uh, raw sienna colour going on just as a base just building up some layers beauty about this thick paint you don't have to use so much but also you get a very pleasing impasto when the painting's dry where all the layers of paint are built up it has lovely texture to it Just have a quick 
quick slurp of my drink. Hope that didn't pick up on the recording. Yeah, it looks like a child's done it, but that's the whole point. Sorting out some uh, nice uh, titanium white to go on another layer. The chin there is a bit wide. I'm going to narrow it down a bit later on. So far, so good, anyway. Nice bit of uh, scarlet going on. Very brilliant red, rather. Getting uh, low on this uh, Arteza paint, I'll get some more. Yeah, the bloody hate insomnia, I really do. Worst thing in the world. At least I can paint. All about building up the layers at this stage. Takes a lot longer doing it this way then my uh, landscape paintings tend to be a bit quicker yeah not sure what to do with those, the eyes or the mouth yet I'm just leaving them blank for the moment just to see what happens Yeah, sleep often eludes me. But when I do sleep, I have some uh, incredible dreams every night. Some dreams are quite surreal. Some are really happy, but some are quite dark. I do uh, look forward to going to sleep and dreaming. It takes you to a different world, different reality. Yeah, let's sort these eyes out. I'm going to have them sort of semi closed, I think. This nice thick paint creates some uh, quite useful lines, give the impression of uh, eyelids. Yeah, 
Perhaps I'm uh, subconsciously wishing for sleep. Yeah, I'm going to do some more painting outdoors, I think. There's a, oh, I've only ever done one painting outdoors, and that was the other week. I was interviewed by the artist Roy Barry for a film he was making. And yeah, painting outdoors, and absolutely loved it. I'll carry on filming. I'm going to get uh, a decent... Uh, microphone for my camera which I can mount on the hot shoe and also uh, a microphone like a, a body worn microphone or oh, I could uh, perhaps use the headphones that I'm using now with the Madonna-esque mouthpiece You have never been keen on the prospect of painting outdoors. Just haven't got the confidence really. I had dread people coming up to me and engaging in conversation while I desperately try and paint. But uh, yeah, it was uh, really enjoyed it the other week. Yeah, just. Black that mouth out just to see what happens. I could always add a mouth again. Again, it's just adding layers and things. Ah, that mouth seems to have a better shape than before, ever so slightly. Bit more black. Ooh, excuse me. Another swig of my drink. Yeah, just narrow that chin off a bit. Just a fraction. Oh, we're 15 minutes in, something like that, and it's, uh, it's getting there. Kind of resembling a face. I have uh, quite a lot of faces like this in my collection it's from a body of work called Corpse Hall. It's just uh, painting the rubbish that's in my head. Ugh, yawning again. Beauty about painting this time of night, there isn't a sound. There's 
Everyone's asleep. The whole world's asleep. Or our part of the world is asleep, I should say. Yeah, normally when I paint I can talk for Britain because my paintings and my landscapes just lead me somewhere I never never plan what to say so I'm just kind of led by my paintings but in this instance there's nothing to really say about it just do it it's going to uh, some nice texture in now, some bit of detail. Well, the paint's still reasonably wet. Just carving in with a dry brush. So far, so good. The camera hasn't kicked me off yet. Hasn't shut down, which is good. Early days yet. Yeah, completely different to my usual landscapes. My wife doesn't like them. She doesn't like these faces. And not many people do. I just do them. Not supposed to be pleasing. I do love this Arteza paint, it's lovely and thick. Get nice uh, texture on there. Slowly get in there. me just knocking into me tripod as I often do starting to look better now with a bit of texture a bit of depth to it not perfect but it'll do for me Yeah, 
you know, I can't decide what to do with the mouth. Do I put teeth in? Do I close it? Do I leave it like this? We could see. going on just to give it some shape yeah I don't know where these paintings come from somewhere in the depths of my mind tend to do uh, these sorts of paintings when I can't sleep in the middle of the night bit more black onto those eyelids I might uh, put some teeth in that mouth later on. See if it works. Could always get rid of them if it doesn't. <coughs> in there slowly it's just hard to think what to say sat on my own as I say it's much easier to talk with landscapes chin off a bit again Yeah 
Yeah, me, uh, me last two landscape paintings I did yesterday, I didn't like. Didn't like them at all. Don't know if it's something to do with my mood. Don't know. I don't think we're a million miles away with finishing. I haven't reached that point yet where I instinctively know when it's done. I just keep going. Painting every day, it does help you to get an instinct to know when to finish. And that's the trick. Don't always get it right. Yeah, can't can't even think of a funny story to share at the minute. Again, it could be my mood, or it could be because I'm uh, tired. I don't know. I've normally uh, told a few stories by now. Not today. Yeah, you probably can't tell on the camera, but there is some lovely texture building up there. I have to keep checking to make sure my camera isn't packed in.
not far off adding some teeth in that uh, mouth still contemplating it Oh, I've got a ton of photographs to process. It's just from uh, out and about around North Wales. Sat as a passenger in the car, photographing away. Always got a camera at the ready when I'm sat in a car. Majority of my photographs now are done from in a car. It's my uh, safety bubble, my cocoon. Yeah, I'm not all that keen of uh, walking about in the streets among people. I think that's probably why I enjoy the dark room so much. When I was studying, I used to love spending hours at a time in the dark room, creating uh, magic. I remember quite early on, you know, you, you've got to get used to. Um, working in absolute darkness you know serious darkness you know no light whatsoever it's a different type of dark and uh, you've got to lay everything out on the desk in front of you and feel where it is and after a while you get it's muscle memory your hand goes exactly where you want it to go and uh, I was I was learning still and fumbling about. One of the things you've got to do is uh, in total darkness is uh, put your hand on a little spanner that opens the film. So you open that up and then you have to put the spanner down and then uh, you then have to get the spool and wind the film onto a spool which then goes into a container and uh, I put the spanner down and went to get the spool and I dropped the bloody spool on the floor and it clattered in total darkness and uh, I couldn't just turn the light on as that destroy the film so I, I bent down touching around with me one hand while the other hand held the film uh, my hand landed on the spool I picked it up and I then stood up and walloped the back of my head on the work surface oh god I swore it's a wonder half the place didn't hear me it was a hell of a bang nearly knocked me out 
So, uh, but anyway, yeah. I'd, uh, literally birds go <whistles> round my head while I was uh, trying to feed the film onto the spool. Ugh. Yeah, he only do that once. Never dropped anything after that. Yeah, many happy hours in the dark room. It's just magical seeing uh, images appear on a piece of paper. Yeah, there's no better feeling. Yeah, if I had the space, I'd have a dark room one day. I've got the stuff. Someone in Buxton kindly gave me an enlarger and loads of kit. So I could set it up, it's just not having the space. And as well as that, you know, the space and having a sink in the space I can use or a bath or whatever you know but yeah one day with my uh, painting you know my art studio as well I'd love an art studio in a dark room one day when I'm rich and famous that's my dream yeah we're almost there very nearly there, not going to go too far, just uh, add some teeth I think and that's about it, see what happens, this is where you see how unsteady my hands are, I can't do detail, got quite shaky hands. Yeah, it's called Essential Tremor. I'm on tablets for that. I think a large part of it was, uh, you know, not just the tablets and getting better, but uh, also being honest with myself and with other people, saying, yeah, I've got Essential Tremor. So I used to hide it. People used to ask me, you're cold? I said, yeah, I'm cold. Which, uh, which is all right in the middle of winter, but when it's July and August, quite a lame excuse. My hands used to shake terribly. And uh, I finally went to the doctor about it. I was in there shaking away. And he knew straight away, he said, oh yeah, it's essential tremor. And um, he put me on tablets and they worked immediately. Um, me and my wife went out that evening to 53 degrees north, a pub in um, Buxton. And we went there and I had something with chips and peas. And said to my wife, look at this. And I could, I could hold a fork with peas on which was uh, amazing, never been able to do that before. And yeah, it's, it's not not just the tablets, I'd only just take them. I think, uh, yeah, it was acknowledging it was a problem and doing something about it and being honest, which worked wonders. Instead of hiding it, I just, uh, yeah, tell people now, feel empowered to tell people so they understand what it is. Yeah, you know, if I've missed my tablets or whatever, I do notice the difference. If, it, if the tablets go out of my system, if I've missed them for a few days. But yeah, it's 
mostly in the mind, I think. Yeah, not too bad with uh, teeth. So, uh, yeah, we'll do a few finishing touches, and I think we might just be about there. Not looking too bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night. I think it's just about dandy. I'm just going to go over the teeth once more. using my little finger there just to steady my hand a bit yeah oh, there's a bloody fly flying about my studio hope hasn't gone in front of my camera where's he come from little rascal yeah I think that is just about dandy. Definitely uh, jobs are good and just uh, yeah, need to get it signed and uh, just finished off next. Oh, it's the bloody fly. Go on. Yeah, a bit of a squiggly, uh, shaky signature. Yeah, I think we're there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.